welcome this advent of code we are solving day 15 and day 16 today for 2021 um let's get right in 2019 you have to build in code computers that will be used in many tasks for that yeah oh nice um yeah i'll probably if i finish 2018 i will switch to 2019 next sounds like fun okay let's uh, go uh if you're new there is private leaderboard uh here so you can go to if you're also solving advent of code go to uh leaderboard uh private leaderboard put this code here join it and we will compete together so i'm currently last for this year but not for every year actually if we go to here i still can see yeah i am first for 2018 <laughs> okay there are only four people right now competing but what the heck okay day 15. Mm, keton sheton i don't know how to read it um but there is link to see what it is okay so it's some sort of a fish right let me see how it is in russian okay yeah probably keton kai kaitans <laughs> i don't know how to read this okay uh, but good to know you almost reach the exit of the cave but the walls are getting closer together your submarine can barely still fit um though uh, the main problem is that the walls of the cave are covered in ketones and it would be b can i actually maybe hear how the google pronounces it because if i keep pronouncing it wrong it would be terrible right chitons 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 okay chitons covered in chitons and it would be best not to bump uh any of them the current is large but has a very low ceiling restricting restricting your motion to two dimensions the shape of the cavern resembles a square a quick scan of chiton density produces a map of risk levels throughout the cave your puzzle input for example okay so this is our input okay let's save it let's go here say this day 15 example okay you start in the top uh, left position destination is bottom right position okay and you cannot move diagonally the number on each position is is its risk level to determine the total risk of entire pass adapt the risk levels of each position you enter that is don't count the risk level of your starting position unless you enter it leaving what leaving it adds no risk to it all okay so we don't count uh, this one okay your goal is to find a path with the lowest total risk in this example a path with the lowest total risk is highlighted here the total risk of this path is 40 the starting position is never entered so its risk is not counted what is the lowest total risk when you pass from top left to the right okay fucking hell okay sounds bad <laughs> um i don't know dynamic programming maybe no so uh, this sounds simple right yet you start here you count risk reaching for reaching each of those then for each new you can reach from there you take the minimum kind of hmm. what if you can go back okay there is a possibility that you can you have to go like this then around some nine say this is all nines for example 
but this is all once so you have like d -d 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 and you turn here instead of going straight here right so like the real cost of going here you will discover after you cover all this but um yeah it feels like we need hello from Novosibirsk. hello drucoder welcome to the stream um hmm. okay oops the first thing we need to do is to parse this and usually this goes as lines is going to split lines input um, so basically map lines but here we are going to map parse long line right and this is our map or floor I don't know what's called floor and we probably want to know with height count first floor height count floor 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 not sure if we need um, maybe we don't need it right so we can just return floor and then height floor is going to be count floor and this floor is going to be count first floor okay so let's see if we can parse example example um sorry no okay so yeah yeah um well actually we can take minus uh character minus zero right so this is what we are aiming for mm -hmm. character can be cast to number so we kind of want something like this and we get our map um okay this works we don't need uh, much more now what we want is to start exploring okay so what we want is what we want is um so let's call this floor uh let's also call have a cost okay so now i'm thinking that maybe we need an array of arrays simply because arrays are mutable well for floor we don't need mutable right so but uh costs might be maybe good thing to make mutable okay let's say make array um long type okay we probably are going to need with this floor height height floor right uh, we're going to need this multiply with height so these are costs and we also need uh, this thing 
arrays arrays and it, it must have a fi um, yeah feel there is long okay so this is what we are going to do we are going to call java util arrays feel uh, costs I'm not sure, but let's say it's long, just in case. Um, we are going to fill it with. Uh, is it max value? Yeah, it's max value. Max value. Okay, so now like everything in the array is. like kind of unreachable right so we don't know cost of anything uh, but we kind of uh, may set the cost of top level to zero right okay so now the the, the real fun begins so we probably are going to need a loop um loop is going to be border and this is going to be a vector okay uh, cost we don't need um, so basically we are going to recalculate the cost of everything we also need a method called neighbors uh, which I obviously wrote many times okay suppose is going to be a function of x and y uh, and is going to be plus x multiple i with or rather e to x right so it's index into array and we also need a function called neighbors so this probably needs to be neighbors with height mm, x y okay and count if x like this let's call this kind of like this right um, here it is y h y x and y and all this should be conged so like this okay so this is our neighbors function neighbors uh, we can actually simplify it like basically make a partial file apply for like how this is called carrying or something right okay so border is probably a position at zero zero um uh, if wait what do we need to return uh lowest total risk in this example okay so we don't care actually about the pass we only need uh, risk right so yeah this is good if empty border we return um I get costs
index uh, decrease the height. So top right, we return the cost of top right, right? Otherwise, we say pause first or peak border, right? Um, so we take one element from the border like border uh, or we can call it updated right and our task is um, let's also write a function called cost it's going to be a function of forget costs x y right uh, sorry index of x y okay um, Okay, preparations are kind of set cost uh, zero zero zero, right? Like this. And we want to indicate that this uh, this is mutable. Okay. Position is updated. Um, so now we take each of the neighbor, take the cost of the neighbor and cost of current thing. And if it's smaller than what is currently written as neighbor, we put it in, right? So kind of. Uh, Update what is updated? Uh, let's call it border uh, or queue. I don't know. Let's call it queue. Yeah, okay. So actually, updated, we are going to write it here. Um, this is going to be neighbors uh, pause, right? That's right, let's call it get cost and set so like we can use cost as a name. Uh, get cost pause, okay. Uh, neighbor, uh, when <sighs> like new cost is going to be uh, get cost of this neighbor plus. No, 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 Wait, 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 floor. Uh, so we have two different things. We have cost and we have value, right? Um, so maybe... Maybe we make floor the same uh, kind of thingy as cost, meaning it would be an array, right? But then we will have to return, like making it an array is very simple um, we say this and we say this and into a long time ok 
okay so this is going to be our array and we return with height and floor uh, so floor is going to be array or let's call it values okay uh height is going to be okay so this we don't care about height is going to be count lines uh count first line okay so this is what we return as pars okay now um keys are going to be with height and values from parsing Okay, so we don't need this. Okay, costs are going to be new thing and basically the same type of array, but with make array. Yes. Um, well, we can actually make it. I hope we can do this. Uh, what we can do here is say into array um, repeat long max value right and how much are we going to repeat we are going to repeat with by height okay so now index is right neighbors we don't need this function uh, so this takes extra array uh, we call those get and set or uh, get uh, get and set I'm just afraid that get is kind of taken but usually you don't use get right so let's call it get okay um array index pause uh, for value no you know what uh we don't need those two functions we don't save you that much index we need okay, but uh this we don't need we need a set costs uh index zero zero probably even like this uh index zero zero um we can actually do you know what can we do if it's <laughs> like no no, no 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 i'm just thinking do we need well who knows right um yeah we probably need it right here okay so uh this is a set costs index zero um now we take this we get a uh, get costs index with that height yes this seems correct otherwise we take how do you skip visit positions so i don't think i need to skip them um because the, the value can be recalculated, right? So I can actually return to a visit position with a new value. Uh, I I will just add to the queue only positions for which uh, value has changed. So if your value has changed, that potentially your neighbors could be reachable with a new cost, right? And if that's the case, we need to reevaluate them. So kind of like this but usually it wouldn't be the case so we just skip them okay so cost is going to be get costs pause uh pause is neighbors with height pause uh cost new cost is going to be a get um values index pause right okay um yeah, yeah. Uh, pause multiply so we the cost of our current and only when when uh, sorry yeah, it when goes here 
it's we can kind of use this So this are positions that has updated and we basically recur with uh, into pop q updated, right? Okay, so we have been writing for a long time uh, so this probably doesn't work, but who knows. Yeah, we missed something up. Um, Okay, so parse doesn't work for some reason and it doesn't work where? 35 multiply with height with the, yeah. Precision uh, can be cast to character. Okay, where is this happening? 42, I get costs. Pause. Okay, yeah, we need um, this. Mm -hmm. So there is something lazy somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, this needs to be in a let. Okay, and we got uh, 40, which is a uh, correct answer, right? Did we solve it? Who knows? It certainly doesn't work on here. And unfortunately we don't have any, hmm. should we animate it? This works like reasonably well. Let's let's see. Like we can give it ten seconds, maybe hundred seconds. If it eventually works, why not? Right. But something is um, hmm, something is wrong here. Maybe we return too much. Okay, four, nine, eight. Boom. Okay, we solved it. It was long, but. Um, oh my God. It feels like you never go backwards, right? But I don't know. Now that you know how to find low risk paths in the cave, you can try to find your way out the entire cave. I I also like feel the urge to vis visualize it because it might be cool how this path gets found, right? Um, Maybe. And it also can give us um, uh, 
insight into what is going on. So the problem, the one potential problem is that we use the wrong type of queue, uh, like we, we should probably, okay, let's try this. Let's try kind of cut. Um, um, there is a type called persistent queue, and I think it works differently than, uh, I have closure here, right? Persistent queue empty like this. So what we can do is say um, closure lang empty conch zero zero like this okay let's see if it gives us the correct answer yeah we we we're, we're using the wrong type of traversal yeah 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 no no it's not even a priority queue because i calculate everything i calculate every pass but we we're using depths first so it tries to follow one pass as deeply as it can uh, and now i switch to breads first so breads first is it tries to like to expand its boundary from the start uh like in the even manner right and I, my suspicion is it leads to way less recalculations like you because you rarely you rarely go back in this problem so yeah kind of I wasn't here in the beginning, but are you doing this or agreeing with something else? Um, no, I don't think so. I am just calculating. I'm not sure what this algorithm is, but I'm just calculating the cost of. Oh my God. No, that's not what we want. And B, it picks in these vectors with the lowest distance, compares the distance through the right to each and visited neighbors, and updates the neighbor with their x lower. Kind of, I think. Yeah, sounds similar. I'm not sure about mark visited set to write when done with neighbors. What, the, what does this mean? Um, because potentially, like, you can find a way around. Uh, I don't do this part, but otherwise it's, is there a priority queue in closure? Um, there is, but then I have to invent a cost function, right? So there is sorted map and sorted map is sorted by keys, right? And we probably need something slightly different. Uh, you can get it from No, this is not what we want. I think this is what we want. Yeah, entry sorted by value. So basically you say position, it's cost, and it's sorted by value, kind of. Okay, let's read the, the second part. Now that you know how to find low risk pass in the cave, you can try to find your way out. The entire cave is actually five times larger in both dimensions that you thought. The area you originally scanned is just one tile in a five by five tile area that forms a full map. Your original map tile repeats to the right and downwards. Uh, each time the tile repeats to the right and downward, all of its risk levels are one higher than the tile immediately up or left to it. Um, what? <laughs> three, two, three, three, eight, five. Four, four, nine, five, five, one. Uh, how 
Moreover, the risk levels above 9 drop back around 1. So if your original map has some position with risk level 8, then the same position on each tile. Which single digit above uh, corresponds to the example position with a value of 8 on the top left tile because the full map is actually 5 times larger? Well, the same position appears total 25 times once in addition to duplicated tiles the values shown above. Uh, keep it with a full map, you can now find a path from the left to corner to the bottom right corner with the lowest total risk. Okay. Um. So like, is the extra algorithm like means once we we found our exit, we stop why why is the top one twice i also wonder it once okay yeah maybe this is needed but like so far it wasn't needed but it might be needed okay uh in the future but yeah there's pretty good description on wikipedia yeah 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 but uh, it needs you to read. Okay, so let's, but it seems the solution was fast enough. Yeah, 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 it was. But we can, yeah, we can switch to priority queue here. Um, and we can stop sooner, as soon as we find exit. So that's probably what we will have to do. One hour, oh my God, no. <laughs> okay. No, I wouldn't wait for so so long. Um, let's call parse the via, uh, parse two, and what we need is input, and basically we say this. And put like ten seconds for me, which is much slower than yours. Yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, check for reflection. Uh, it always gets me actually okay so new values yeah if you're using arrays or like if you're using vectors then you probably copy a lot right um because they're persistent and immutable and when you recalculate something you have to create a new array uh that might be the problem so i'm using mutable arrays instead um, but when you play with mutable arrays you have a problem of reflection you can some operations like a get and a set uh a get and a set where is a set actually yeah here uh they might be uh go through reflection and then it will be super slow and you don't want that okay um kind of yeah like that okay 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 so what we need is uh for x or for y range height for x range with into array a uh, long type and well five times that five times that right uh, our value is going to be Okay, uh, how does it work exactly? <coughs> Each time the tile repeats to the right or downward, so here we basically has plus two, right? Okay. Okay, so we need to calculate stuff like 
delta which is going to be uh, sum of quad a height quad x rays so it will work from for here and kind of yeah it, i think it works um and what we want here is a get values plus x multiple y uh, with original this right but here we need mod with mod height right so this is original value um we add delta to it and we say mod 10 no you don't need minus oh you need minus one mod nine yeah minus one uh mod nine plus one oh my god and this is <laughs> this is how i met with your mother um with with five height height five uh values this is okay now it would be good thing to actually print this beast so just to check uh, uh, uh so let's say keys with height values mm, parse to we want example right then we say to seek uh, height range with um print uh, actually you know what we do do seek x range means we print uh, a get values plus x multiple uh, y with um like this print len okay let's see uh let's see and this is our multiple two two eight six yes two three two two and here we have three three right and in the end we have four seven nine yeah seems correct so we get our map and if we uh apply the same algorithm um hmm. okay so we need a function called solve actually uh. whatever right so we need this i'm not sure why it formatted the way it formatted but okay so we have solve uh solve parse input right so like this and part two we are going to do solve parse to input right okay like this okay let's check that we still produce reasonable 315 
Okay, let's see how long it takes unmodified. Okay. Uh, 2901. 2901. Boom. Yay! <laughs> um, but just for the fun of it, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, mutable arrays, man, like, uh, yeah, you can't beat mutable arrays. Like, in closure, you have to know when to play with immutable and when to mutable. And I would say, like, on the top of my head, most of the problems here are better off with mutability than immutability. It's just like, because other languages don't have uh, mutability. Uh, so the tasks are designed to be solvable in a language that is mutable ins and outs, right? Uh, that's why, uh, again, trying to do this in closure, you're probably better off with. Like you see, like most of my solutions are not like idiomatic closure, idiomatic closure. It's a get, a set, arrays, loops. So I don't even like utilize closure powers so much because well, problems are better suited for, I don't know, for C or C style language. Uh, but yeah, just for the fun of it, let's see if we can, did we get a uh, performance measurement? Okay, so it's 1.2 seconds, right? And we, we didn't introduce any reflection, I hope, no, we didn't. Okay, uh, let's try priority queue, actually, why not, right? It should be simple, priori priority map, uh, priority map what we need. I don't remember how to include it. This is a dependency. Okay, so this is what we need. Uh, let's go to depths. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we like, okay, okay, okay. whatever. Um, <laughs> then we are going to use this. Oh, maybe this, yeah. Okay, so we are going to add it here, uh, I think it's okay here to use refer because it's hard to confuse priority map with anything, right? Okay, so now what we want is uh, priority map, priority map. Yeah. Um, the map uh, zero 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 right so like this this is our cost for for the start But we need costs now, so it's going to be both cost, uh, disoc, q, pause. Uh, kind of like this, I think. I should have committed, right? <laughs> Okay, let me undo most of this. Let me commit. So we have uh, like a known good point where we can return to, or at least stage. Um, boom, boom, boom. Year. Uh, oh my, and I just realized I probably forgot to start. No, I didn't forget. Oh, I didn't forget to start recording. I was scared for a second here uh boom 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 we don't need to run day 15 okay commit push and now let's return everything that we did um okay um into the circuit pause updated okay feels okay but um Again, here if equals pause like 
check with the right so if we have reached the bottom right cost otherwise let's go with updated like this feels okay feels okay no uh, and I need to restart, um, get it behind this because it takes so much space. Yeah, I also need to visit it now. Huh. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. So in this uh, setup, we can actually visit. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's try it. So if we have this, uh, if if it's this, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Do I though? Do I need to visit it? I, what do you mean? Okay, uh, yeah, no, uh, connect. Wow, okay, feels slower, right? <laughs> it is slower now. Oh my god. Uh, and we have few reflection warnings. Okay, so now we we need to deal with those. Okay, so it's line forty nine. Um, and what we don't know is the type of cost because we think cost is this. We can actually <coughs> do this, and then I think we are out of the woods right okay yeah it's three times faster so the extra works i'm not sure about visited though uh, like isn't it possible that i find um a pass to some node that is cheaper can, can't I find it later? It feels like I can, no? I'm probably not in this problem, but yeah, okay, anyways. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, well, we have the extra or almost the extra, I don't know, but yeah. Use priority map in year one day. We have one more actually, so yeah, that's why I'm <sighs> okay. So this is done. I didn't update, but well, whatever. Okay, this is done. Let's me restart recording for the second.